To make great beer, you need a special combination of science, art, and a little bit of magic. And here in Mexico City, there's no shortage of beer to be found. But if you're looking for the real deal, it's all about finding the people who love everything about that special drink. I am Luis Enrique de la Reguera, CEO of Casa Cervecera Cucru, a local brewery here in Mexico City, and also counselor of the Cerveceros de Mexico, that is the Mexican Chamber of Beer. I am really passionate and about beer. Drinker of beer. Really Extraordinaire. Yes. <laughs> That's great. So you know beer. I know beer. Yeah. Luis has a long list of titles today, but looking back 10 years, you'll find him with just a love of beer and a dream. I used to be a product designer, mm -hmm. and one day I get a how to make beer kit. Oh yeah? And I brew my first kit <laughs> just two months after I get married. And I say to my wife, okay, I'm gonna quit, and then we start the brewery. Whoa. So yeah, it was kind of crazy at that yeah. time, but, but it paid You were brave, out. Yeah. very brave. So tell me about Crew Crew. So that's your brewery. That's my brewery, Right. Yes. So how big is it? And okay, brewery, it's a small brewery, but we are really loud, like the cricket. Like a really small insect, but with a bunch of noise. We won a couple, not, not just a couple, like yeah, a bunch a of Yeah, a lot of awards. Yeah, a bunch of awards. <laughs> always talking about the Mexican flavors. Mm -hmm. For us, it's really important to develop the, the Mexican, say, or the Mexican flavors. Yeah. And if we're gonna be involved in beer, represent our country the best way we right. can. And at the beginning, we were excited about making beer. Right. And now we're excited about making good beer. Right. And you can't make good beer if you don't have good ingredients. Not only hops, but yeah. barley and mm -hmm. good water, good yeast. But hops are really important in beer, especially in the styles that are growing here in Mexico. So the Mexican beer industry is growing like at least 10% a year. The craft market is only 0.1% uh, of production and somewhere around 1% of sales. And also we have a different way to understand flavors here in Mexico. Mm -hmm. For yeah. example, we brew a beer with crickets or we have porters with, with mm -hmm. local chocolate or also sours with watermelon. We have a really big voice uh, mm -hmm. about flavor, so experiment we, we experiment a lot and, and our beers represent that. Also. Yeah. To make great beer, you need great hops. And it just so happens that Washington is the number one producer of hops in the U.S., which makes them the perfect match for Mexican brewers. The hops from the U.S., they're taking a really big part of the Mexican beer industry. We're going behind the freshness of the aromas and the citrus and and you can only get that with, with hops from, from the States. Yeah. The, the thing that I like the most is that you can get it fresh. They're well packed, like came with nitrogen and, mm -hmm. and compact, so they, they didn't get oxidized in, yeah. the, in the way here. Yeah. So that's really important for us. Well, you need to go to Washington to so you go. can like see all the varieties. Yes. Yeah. I truly believe that the hop is like the future of beer here in Mexico. As long as we're still getting fresh hops and, and, and fresh aromas and we learn how to use it well, yeah. it's a long way ahead. I think we should have some beer, right? Cheers. Cheers. Great Thank to you. Have you here. Thank you. Washington State produces 77% of the nation's hops. What region are they grown in? My brother Levi will have the answer for you after the break. Coming up, I'm making a special Ecuadorian dish called Estofado de Pollo at the Otis restaurant. Oh. Delicious. <laughs> yes, wonderful. And we're in the kitchen at Second Harvest trying Chef Laurent's cheddar and beer soup. To answer my brother's question, the Yakima Valley produces 77% of the nation's hops. 